everybody, this is Book Ass Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Lady Deadpool figure. So before we take a look at Lady Deadpool, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. So first up, she comes with the right leg of Sauron, and I might have mistakenly said that the right leg came with Omega Red. Um, I got the legs switched up while I was doing the review, so I might have said that he comes with the right leg. I can't remember if I did or not. So she comes with the right leg of Sauron. She comes with these two katanas. It's using the uh, old katana mold. And like I said, I really don't like these. Um, another bad thing about this is uh, she has nowhere to store these katanas. Um, you could do this. But, you know, it really won't stay. She should have uh, sheaths. I guess it's kind of one of those things that depends on the artist that's uh, drawing her, because sometimes she won't have sheets. But I feel like she should have had them, you know? She is Lady Deadpool, after all. Um, now, before I go over her last accessory, which is kind of, I guess, a minifigure, um, my Lady Deadpool's hands are all one piece. So they're just together. Which honestly really doesn't bother me. Because now she can just hold her uh, katanas way better. Like, any of the Deadpool figures that have open hands, like Gwenpool and Deadpool, they can't hold their accessories because their hands are open. They're not closed like this. So I don't know if that was intended. Um, from all the reviews I've watched uh, after I got this, I'm pretty sure it wasn't intended. But she can hold them perfectly, so I guess it really doesn't bother me that much. And for her final accessory, she comes with a minifigure. I don't even really know if I'd call it a minifigure, because it's just a head. Um, she comes with Headpool. He's the uh, zombie Deadpool. If you want to know his origin, read uh, Marvel, Zombies number, Marvel Zombies 3, number 1. And so, the head sculpt on him, or the only thing that he has, looks really nice. He has a lot more detail than I thought he would. I feel like his teeth are a little too white for him being a zombie, you know, they should be bloody or, or, you know, rotting. He has some really good teeth for a zombie. And the skin tone also looks good. I didn't figure, like I said, I didn't figure that there'd be this much detail on him. But his skin looks rotted and, you know, all nasty. And then on his uh, propeller hat right here. It's done in that gunmetal collar, and it also looks like there's been a little bit of braille mixed in to make it look kind of rusty. So that was another nice touch. And the propeller does spin, but you have to make it spin. It, it just won't spin very freely, so you have to do that yourself. Um, he comes with the clear stand that uh, Herbie did. There's just an extra hole there that you just port that into. And there you have head pull. Um, real quick before I get into the review, um, I was looking at what figures you could put the head on. You can't put it on the Marvel Now Deadpool because his color is just way too dark, as you can tell. And I think this is still a little too dark for him, but let me pop that off there and then pop this on. I mean, it, it works good enough. So if you wanted to, you could put uh, head pull on his body. You can give him a body there. So you can do that if you want. Just wanted to get that out of the way before I started the review. Now, on to the review of Lady Deadpool. So the head sculpt looks really good. It's a brand new head sculpt, which is always good in my book. And you can tell because she has this really, really, really long ponytail that's flowing. Looks like it's flowing in the wind. And it's very, it's very weighted. Um, it's very thin right here at the top of her head. And then it's very heavy right here. So I'm afraid that, uh, it's, it's so weighted that it might rip right there. Because it's a very rubbery kind of plastic. And I don't want that to happen. But it does have some nice sculpting. And in between each strand of hair, it has a brownish color, like Brownish blonde, and that looks pretty good. And then you get her, uh, her what is this? Is that called a bandolier? I could be wrong about that. Um, 
I think it's a new piece. I haven't seen this with any other figure. But like I said, they should have included some sheets. That way you could put the swords in them. And you get a new belt piece. And then these leg pouches. Which I ended up gluing them down. I put a little bit of glue under there and glued them down. Because I don't, I don't know why Hasbro can't do that. Because I don't want them falling off and, and shifting and not looking right. So I just glued it down. And that's about all for this figure. She, you know, she uses the uh, standard female body mold. But she has a lot less articulation. That's that's something that I really don't like, is that her articulation is not that great at all. Um, also, her legs kind of look funny. Like, if you look, this one's like bowed out, and her foot's kind of bowed in. Kind of weird. So, like I said. Um, another thing is, I feel like this color red is too bright for her. I feel like they should have went with this color from the uh, 90s Deadpool. I don't know. I just feel like the Deadpools keep getting brighter and brighter. <laughs> as opposed to the uh, first one, the Marvel Now one. I think the uh, Deadpool and Chill figure, I think he's even brighter than... Uh, maybe he's brighter than her or brighter than this one. But they just keep getting brighter. So uh, let's go over the articulation now. She has a ball-jointed head that can look back all the way. It's also on that swivel, so she can look back all the way. And down all the way. She can move her head side to side. She has ball-jointed shoulders. They can't move out in it at all. Uh, so the pose that I have her in now is all the farther that her shoulders will move out. I don't know if it's just mine, but... Yeah, I don't want to break it. Because it doesn't even look like they, uh, know the joint. It's, it's really small, so she can't. I think that's really stupid, because for, for characters like Deadpool and Lady Deadpool, you need to be able to get them into some really good poses. I don't feel like I'll be able to get this into very good poses. Um, she has single jointed elbow that's on a swivel. She has swiveled wrist that can move side to side and up and down. She has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back all the way. And can't really move down that far. It can move, not even really side to side, because you get this noise. So, yeah. She can move back, but can't really move down or side to side. She has ball-jointed hips that go out like that if you try to move them out. Like, they go out like that. They don't actually go out. So that's kind of weird. Um, she can kick forward all the way. She can kick back just a little bit. She has swivel at the thigh, but... <clears throat> it's really tough to move. It, it's like it's... it's so stiff, it's... <clears throat> not even funny. And I'm afraid I'm going to break her. And and I tried boiling it, and, and it got a little gummy. And then, once it cooled down and the plastic set back, it, it was just the same way. So, that... it didn't help. Um, she has double jointed knees, swivel at the ankle that can move down and up just a little bit, and an ankle rocker that's even worse than these uh, thigh joints to move. <clears throat> there. And this one just doesn't move at all. You can see that I'm bending her whole leg trying to get the ankle to move. So, it could just be mine, but mine has a lot of issues. So now let's do some size comparisons here. Like I said, e even the way she stands, you can tell that there's something wrong with her. So here she is next to Headpool. And then here they are next to Gwenpool. Another Lady Deadpool figure. Or, well, yeah, she is. She is kind of like a... A female Deadpool. So, I consider her another Lady Deadpool. Here they are next to the Marvel Now Deadpool. Oh, oops. Here they are next to the Marvel Now Deadpool. And then finally, here they are next to 90's Deadpool. And I think the color on this Deadpool is better. As you can see, the previous Deadpool, the uh, Marvel Now Deadpool, is just way too dark. Maybe that's why I didn't like about the figure was that the 
the color. The red is just way too dark. I don't know. Now let me get her standing here again. Okay, she's just going to go right back there. And I'll scoot the camera up to there. So overall, I really wanted to like this Lady Deadpool figure, but I, I don't feel like I can because mine has a bunch of issues. So, I mean, head pull's good, but how can you ruin a head? You know, I, I don't really feel like you can ruin head pull. So, I do like the figure, but mine has a bunch of issues. Could just be mine, but it might be all of them. So, I don't know. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.